Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Bradley. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Duel Links video. Today, we are going to be trading with the card trader and we're going to be dueling Tear Gardener. Just so we can get a little bit further in with our challenges for leveling up. Now, what do we... I think I kind of want a Bazoo the Soul Eater. Um, but we need... we're really far out on that. So let's see who else we can get. Or what else we can get, should I say. Um, what does Discfire do? Not going to be useful in this game at the moment. Um, it looks like we won't actually be a trading with the card trader just yet. Let's go back to Tear Guard. I can't remember where she was. I think she might have been over here. Yep, yeah, there she is. We'll do Tear Guard now. Uh, with our Angel and Friendship level 3 deck. So this should be quite uh, more challenging than we've seen Tear Guard in the past. I believe I haven't challenged her level 3 deck yet on video. When this full game comes out, I should be doing a tumble coverage, especially of multiplayer, because you guys seem to really enjoy that. Unfortunately, I can't do multiplayer right now, because I don't actually have any internet to do so. And this game obviously requires internet, so I'm using 4G, which I haven't got a lot of yet left. So, oh no. <sighs> Just realize what I've done. So apparently we're not going to be doing Tear Garner today because I don't think uh, we can do her again after that. I completely forgot to change decks. Which is not fun. Let's uh, let's see. Uh, who do we want to be? We want to be Kyber, don't we? Let me be cut. No. There we go. Right, so Taya's gone, so which means we now need to go and face her over here. So we'll we'll pay up some dual credits if we have enough. We have insufficient keys to do at level two. We do have enough keys, to, however, to do her at level one or level two. Sorry. Uh, so let's uh, let's do that. We only need to do her five times, I think. We don't need to do her any particular level, which is great. Um, Obviously, I do really want to try and unlock Yami Yugi in this series before the beta ends, but I don't think we're going to be able to manage that. You have no okay, so we've got our skill performance, which gives us a mountain field spell straight away. Not too useful, only really useful on um, the Winged Beast we have in this deck. And as far as starting hands go, <laughs> not the best hand. Okay, let's see what Taya's got. One card face down, and she's just gonna end. Yeah. So we have to deal her 600 points of damage straight away, which is great. So let's play Restructure Revolution. I think when the full game comes out, I'll um, switch up and I'll use uh, Yami Yugi as my main character rather than Ser Kaiba. So, sorry about that email popping up there. Let's. Uh, I really probably should have set uh, that one, ready for intercepting, but should really matter. I think this version of our deck has Dark Magic Go in it, or maybe all of them do, I can't really remember. But Skill Angle is like one of our favourite cards to use, that's probably another Skill Angle as well. Oh, sorry about that noise. Alright, let's draw. Element Magician. These are the most popular cards I've seen used in this game um, because they just they can just get over most things your opponent plays. Obviously, you are going to want a ton of 1700, 1900 point monsters when they do get released. Like I hope that when the game full game comes out, we can get stuff like uh, Vorza Raider, um, Enrage Battlelock, stuff like that. Another Skelengel, as I said, let's attack her directly with our Magician. Again, sorry for the audio. I think uh, maybe you can hear it's a bit echoey. It's just the flat I'm in, which means it'll probably, audio will probably be like this for a while. Um, there's some stuff I could do in post, post editing, like if there's any Dark Side Dimensions news videos or whatever, those will be done with uh, Audacity, so it will sound a lot better anyway. Hopefully the game audio sort of just, you know, drowns this out and makes it sound okay. Alright, we should, if we draw a monster here, Skull Red Bird, there we go. We'll definitely be able to... Uh, Beat Tear Gardener in this video. We'll now so 
attack with our Ellen Magician first so she can get a double attack, assuming that she goes over this one. Yep, happy lover. Yep, so activate the effect of Ellen Magician. And then we can attack again with her. And then we can finish Taya off with uh, either our Element Soldier or our Skull Red Bird. Probably going to do it with the Skull Red Bird because he hasn't actually had a chance to attack yet. There we go. Direct attack to hopefully defeat Taya Gardner. She hasn't got like a Mirror Force. I mean, haven't seen that at all in this game yet, which is great. But that'll probably be like. This beta only has, like, I don't know whether it has the full amount of levels, because each of these characters only got up to 30, but they're lacking a lot of cards, so maybe in the final game it'll go up to 50 or 100, and you'll be able to just grind this out completely, otherwise it'll just be multiplayer duels that are keeping you going, and that won't feel as fun. There we go, we gained some levels, let's see what we get from our chat. We've got two uh, rare cards. So I haven't actually got any, uh, like, super rares or ultra rares from those uh, cards you can actually earn from those players yet so let's uh, let's go to our mission tab up here we obviously did something inflict 1000 points of effect damage during world duel and I've received 25 gems which means actually this video won't be um, as boring as we can go to the card shop and we can go here and we can buy quite a few packs I think about a fifth, 10 over 10 packs so what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy one pack and then our next video is going to be a pack opening. Yeah, well, let's do that. So let's see what we get in this one. Probably, we'll probably get more in this pack than we do in our entire pack opening. A Conscription, Card Rotator, and Staunch Defenders are rare. I know this card when your opponent declares an attack. Select one face of monster on your side of the field. During this turn, your opponent can only designate the attack monster as an attack. And your opponent wants to attack it. Okay. That's pretty good. Like, say you have a Blue Eyes White Dragon on your field and you have something weaker like uh, a Celtic Guardian or something. You can force your opponent to attack into those, into that blue eyes every time rather than attacking the Celtic Guardian, which is great. But anyway, that is the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you do feel like seeing more Duel Links, Legacy of Duel Links, Dark Side Dimensions, news and informational videos, gameplay videos, and all that. Be fr feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, do subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.